Greetings, critters. It's Fox here, and welcome to my Barrel of Thoughts, aka my channel, where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be a spooky book review of Jeff Strand's Ferocious. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. So a little bit about the plot of Ferocious by Jeff Strand. Rusty has been raising his niece for 18 years since she was a baby, and they live off the grid in a secluded cabin in the middle of the woods. And Rusty is worried that that lifestyle is holding Mia back from life. But there's no time to dwell on this fact or worry for Rusty or Mia, because the undead animals and wildlife come to the cabin and surround it. But luckily, Mia and Rusty have not only their wits, but also an axe and a chainsaw. So this is, well, this was my first read by Jeff Strand, and this will be my second time reading Ferocious itself by Jeff Strand, and I gotta say, I had so much fun reading this both the first and second time. It seems to get better every time I read it. There is such a good pace that it starts right at the beginning. There's no time to breathe. It is a hold your breath kind of book. Thankfully, it is shorter in length. So you're not holding your breath for too, too long. <laughs> um, it definitely doesn't hold back because there is carnage, there is blood, and there is an obscene amount of action. It is a really, really good book. I would still consider it um, more horror than an action book, just based on the kill scenes, the injury scenes, and the survival scenes, the running from the hunt. It's just so intense. And then there are the undead animals. They are gnarly. If even a squirrel that looked like that came at me. I'd be gone. I, I, I'd probably get eight. It's so intense because they keep their hunting mentality, but gra end up getting a rabid like mentality with it. So they are ravenous and they just want to eat and kill and destroy. So it's really, really intense. And their appearance is terrifying. I will never look at a woodpecker the same after reading this book. Then we have the characters. First off, Mia is savage. I love Mia. She is sarcastic. She is a strong young woman. And she's got this great relationship with her uncle Rusty. And that relationship has such a cool dynamic with dark humor and sarcasm interweaved in their independence because they're both pretty independent people. Rusty, for example, he's protective, extremely loving and caring, but a little stuck in his ways and his routine. So that's why he struggles with the off-grid living and wondering if it's the best choice because it would be really hard for him to leave. And the characters are so super well-rounded and I love them. There's only two, so for the short length, it was really well done. And the writing and the descriptive passages, also really well written and really well executed. Loved it. It is a very fun read and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The, the ending is really satisfying and wraps it up in a nice tight bow. I loved this book. I highly recommend it. It is Lady Fox approved, and I'm rating it five tails out of five. Loved it. Recommend it. Get a copy. Ferocious by Jeff Strand. You cannot go wrong, critters. That's all from this den of rights. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me today. It means so much to me. The whole wide and wild wilderness to me really does. Thank you again, and until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.